In this lesson, we will look at what is HTTP authentication, what is a user's experience on a browser when a website uses HTTP authentication, and then we discuss how we can automate it using Playwright. So let's go. Now, HTTP authentication is a standardized process that is supported by all browsers and used very commonly to restrict access to portions of a website. It consists of two very simple headers. The first header is www authenticate, which is sent down by a web server to inform the browser that it needs to provide user credentials in order to access a URL. The browser sees this header and if required, prompts the user for the credentials. Once the credentials are provided, it base64 encodes them and sends them to the server as a part of the authorization header. The web server then uses these credentials to serve content specific to the user. Now, if the website is served over HTTPS, all HTTP headers are encrypted by the transport protocol so the user can provide their credentials safely without worrying about any man-in-the-middle attacks. Now here I have a website running locally where the auth URL is protected by HTTP authorization. Now when we go ahead and visit this URL in the browser, the browser notices the www authenticate header and prompts the user for their credentials. Now if we cancel out, the browser doesn't send the authorization header and the website responds with unauthenticated. Now if we go ahead and refresh the page, the server will request the credentials again and the browser will prompt us. And this time let's go ahead and provide credentials that we know are valid. Now the browser will go ahead and base64 encode these credentials and send them to the server as a part of the authorization header. The server goes ahead and decodes the header, notices that our credentials are valid and serves us the content authenticated. Now that we understand a user's journey with HTTP authentication, let's go ahead and automate this using Playwright. Here we have a basic Playwright automation code from our introduction lesson. We go ahead and launch Chromium, create a new page, and then we go ahead and close the browser. Then within our actions, we'll go ahead and page.goto to, to the URL that has that authentication enabled. Next, we'll go ahead and take a screenshot of the page and save it to output slash screenshot to see what the website served. Now let's go ahead and run this in VS Code with F5. And once the program exits, Let's go ahead and open up that screenshot file. And you can see that we got unauthenticated. Now the way to provide HTTP credentials is through the context object with Playwright. Now there is a method on context called set HTTP credentials and it takes a username and password the same way the user would get prompted if you were not running the browser in headless mode. Now for our demo server that we're running over here, the username is username and password is password. So let's go ahead and run this with these credentials provided. And once the program completes, we open up the screenshot and we can see that it is authenticated. Now that's all we need in order to provide credentials for HTTP authentication. Now as an added bonus, let's go ahead and launch the browser in full GUI mode by setting headless to false and then no longer provide the credentials. Now when we go ahead and run this application, the browser will pop up, visit the website, notice the www authenticate header and prompt the user for the credentials. This can be useful if you want to play around with different credentials. Let's go ahead and press escape to visit the unauthenticated page. Now let's go ahead and provide the credentials and still run the browser in GUI mode. Now when the website would request the credentials, the browser would already have them and we will see the authenticated page. Now one final thing to note is that the set HTTP credentials method can also be used to clear the credentials if you go ahead and pass in now. Now before we go ahead and run this, let's switch off headless so we don't get prompted. Press F5 and now because we set the credentials to now, we should see unauthenticated. And that's all you need to know about HTTP authentication in the browser and how you can automate it with Playwright. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you in the next one.